The time has come. Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. Tonight, we have so many trains that we're going to see, but I'm not going to run a single train on my layout. Kind of sad about that. About a month or so, or, or when? A month? Month and a half? Month? No, it doesn't matter. I put out a community post and invited viewers of this channel to send in clips of your own train layouts. And being such good citizens as you are, I received an overwhelming number of videos which is why it's taken me so long to go through them all. I want to show every single one, but I just can't do it in this video. So we're probably going to break this into a couple of different videos. But tonight is the long-awaited viewer videos of my RBP and Friends series. And this is where I'm not going to run a single train on my layout because we're going to spend time looking at what you have sent in. So get ready to watch a lot of awesome layouts. Some that I wish were mine. Actually, many that I wish were mine. But this is going to be a lot of fun. I had a great time going through these. And again, I can't thank you all enough for sending in your clips. If you missed it this time, we will do this again, I promise. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. But wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to tease the clips in the intro and give away who's in this video. You're just going to have to watch and find out. Yep, I did that. Sorry, folks. When I started getting into the social media aspect of O-Gage model railroading, there was a layout that I saw that really popped off the screen. And it was from my good friend Patrick. And he calls this layout the Mini Marceline. Check out the beautiful scenery he's built. When I saw this layout at first, I thought it was someone's complete basement. You know, maybe 30, 40 feet long. But he's actually built this impressive layout in a very compact space, which is very hidden by the way that he immerses the viewer into his scenes. So Patrick, enjoy those trains. Thanks for sending. And again, more goals for ways I should be doing my layout. Our next great layout comes to us from a good friend of mine, Michael. And he calls his layout Kisco Falls. Michael's been able to create beautiful scenes in a compact space. And it's one of my favorite layouts that I get to see. Not only is Michael a super nice guy, but I know that he intentionally put that Hudson on the track. So check this out. And Michael, I'd be happy to take that Hudson off your hands. Here is an awesome layout by our friend Andy, and this is HO scale, and take a look at the detail on this layout. Andy started this layout in 2011. His layout is 8 feet by 10 feet, but these are some scenery goals right here. Great work, Andy, and thank you so much for sharing this layout. I really like this track plan and how the train is able to move across grades, cross over the bridge, and then go back underneath the bridge. Just a really great design and super interesting layout. Post-war layouts have always fascinated me, and this next one comes to us from our good friend Scott.
Our next video comes to us from my good friend Bill B over at the Ozark Midland and Southern Railway. Bill, I hope I got that right. I really hope I got that right. Bill has been posting YouTube videos showing us the progress of a layout he's building, and it is one impressive layout. Hi, train friends. This is Bill B, and welcome to the Ozark Midland and Southern Railway. Thank you to Chris of RBP Trains for giving me this opportunity to share my railroad with you. The railroad is located in a 14 by 23 foot 9 inch room and I utilize a uh, legacy command control system to operate my uh, legacy and TMCC locomotives. The OMS has been a lot of fun to work on, and even though it's yet to be completed, I still love running the trains over its tracks. The next layout you're going to see comes to us from a collaboration between two different channels, and together they're called CD Train Productions. And this layout is really interesting. You'll notice it's all tubular post war type track. But check out this collection and the way this is laid out. And it totally has an I Love Toy Trains vibe to it, which I think we can all appreciate. This is our entry to the Lionel train layout video. We are two YouTubers that create videos of O-scale and HO scale trains, along with trains in real life. This is the layout that we use. It is an O-scale layout that has three main lines, a trolley track, and a track on a mountain. We have lots of trains from the MPC era, such as this set. This is the train that we mentioned was on a mountain. It is a Northern Pacific steam locomotive on a work train. We also have trains from the post-war and Richard L. Kuhn era. This Canadian Pacific set is from that Richard L. Kuhn era. As you can see here, we have the Southern Pacific Daylight Engine. You may also notice the lights and signals all along the tracks and the rest of the layout. As you can see, we have the classic war bonnet set. In the background, we have the Santa Fe freight train. To finish it off, here are some of the other locomotives that we have. Next up is our friend Chase. And what I really like about Chase's layout is the fact that he chose a Hudson to run on it. My kind of people. Hey guys, this is Chase from Berkshire 736. And this is my video for Chris's RBP Trains and Friends video. This is a little layout I made back in the summer of 2020, and today I have a 1997 Santa Fe Warhorse Hudson with three Santa Fe Fire passenger cars. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Our next layout is brought to us by my friend, Chicagoland Railroader. And this is really cool. This is a lot of fun. Hey, RBP and friends. I'm at Chicagoland Railroader here on YouTube, and this is my layout. The layout is 8 by 13 feet and primarily uses Lionel Fast Track. For the most part, I specialize in custom painting o gauge equipment and adding in LED lights and such, and that's where I get the most joy in this hobby. So here are some of my favorite custom trains running around the layout. If you'd like to see more custom videos or layout updates from me, go ahead and check out my channel here on YouTube.
at Chicago Land Railroader. Thanks, y'all are awesome. Did you catch that little song in there? That was pretty cool. I really should put more songs in my videos. I'm gonna have to hit you up, Chicago Land Railroader. Maybe you can help me out. I always enjoy seeing creative approaches to the hobby. And the next one, ironically enough, was sent in by The Creative Mind. This is a fellow YouTube content creator who is working on a layout. He's an electrician by trade, and he's gonna show us a little bit about his layout, some of the wiring, some of the custom panels he's built, and the fact that his layout can also be broken down when he needs to get around. So check this out. Hey Chris, how you doing? My name is Ed, also known as The Creative Mind on my YouTube channel. I'm an electrician just getting back into trains and this is my first train layout, a 7x12 table that separates in the middle and folds up into the corner so we can have more room. My electronic and electrical knowledge has helped me develop a custom switch track controller and illuminate my 027 gauge switch tracks, which I have tutorials for onto my channel. I also like to fix up trains and get them going again. A lot of my trains are based in the 90s and some of them is are hand-me-downs. So here's some clips of my trains running. Enjoy. Our next video is brought to you by Dave from DA Griffin Hobby. You may already watch Dave's videos on YouTube. I've always enjoyed Dave's stuff. He collects mainly vintage trains. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey, I'm Dave. My channel is DA Griffin Hobby. I focus mostly on pre-war, post-war, and MPC era Lionel trains. I would say the two defining factors of my layout, my collection, my attack at the hobby in general is budget and simplicity. The layout consists mostly of just loops uh, because I really enjoy just watching the trains run. Our next video kicks off with a bang, literally. Hey Chris, yeah, trains are all about fun. So let's start with a bang. A little lightning and thunder. We'll turn the lights on here. Yeah, so yeah, we're running some different trains today. You know, something fun. Here we have the uh, Aero train, dates back to the 50s. Here we have the Coors Light Silver Bullet train and the Hogwarts Express. Here's a little Christmas village. We got a uh, haunted house over here. And in the distance, we have the uh, Hogwarts Castle. And you can also use this for the Polar Express at Christmas, you know, for um, the Santa. And over here, I have a model I built of uh, Cold War Motors up in Canada. Check those guys out. It's a YouTube channel. They're really good with old cars. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys like it. That's it. Our next layout is a post-war inspired layout that's only six months old. This is by our friend Gavin. Gavin, thanks for sharing. Check this layout out. Layout out. Layout out. That was weird. Sorry, Gavin. Back to you. Hello, my name is Gavin. My YouTube name is GBG's Trains, and this is my layout I've been working on for about six months. This is a post-war style layout with a lot of the items on this layout belonging to my grandfather. I love Lionel trains and the stories they can tell, so I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to RBP Trains. He makes some great content.
The next video comes from my friend Harrison, who's one of the busiest guys when it comes to trains. Harrison chases real trains, he does model trains, and this video I had to laugh because he got creative, and I knew he would because he always does. My name is Harrison, I produce the YouTube channel North Country Trains, and this is my layout. The Z-Scale Sioux Line m and Sub is under 2x3 feet, and it lives in a suitcase. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun building it. I built it over the course of a couple months. Uh, it's set in rural Minnesota, Wisconsin. And uh, let's run some trains. I watched this next video a bunch of times. It blends it with this great music. This next layout is really cool and comes to us from our friend Joe. And one of the things that really appealed to me about this layout is that while it looks like a permanent table, it can actually be folded up and stowed away when it's not being used. So for folks who have commented in the past asking, RBP, what do I do if I need to make a layout but I can't keep it up all the time? Check out this layout. This next layout comes to us from our friend Mark, and this is an American Flyer layout. This one blew me away. Our next layout is brought to us by Mason, and this is a layout that he works on with his grandfather. This next layout is out of this world, pun intended. The next layout comes to us from the great folks over at the Rose Jewel Railroad. Good evening and welcome from the Rose Jewel Railroad. My name is Ken. I am the CEO of the Rose Jewel Railroad. On the middle loop tonight, I have my Santa Fe Lion Chief running tonight. On the inner loop, I have my Milwaukee Road ABAs. These are TMCC era. And on the outer loop, I have a post floor 736 running tonight. Frank, you here? You're getting tired, huh, Frank? You're my operator. Okay, you run the train so I can run the camera. Over here, I have, these are the two trains that I 
grew up with, actually, my first two trains I ever had, my neighbor gave to me. Uh, one's a Marks 999, and one's a Marks 490. And they've got some wear on them, but they still work. Thank you very much. This is the Rose Jewel Railroad. Bye. Next up is my good friend Preston, who's going to share a little bit about his collection and his layout. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Preston from the PGK Railway. Um, I've been doing this hobby for about 16 or 15 years. Started when I was six years old. As you can tell behind me, I primarily do post-war, and I try to keep everything a little bit more on a budget. It all started with this train right here. This was my very first electric train, and so we're gonna jump in and show you the layout real fast. Realism in model railroading is something that I have yet to achieve. But this layout comes to us from our friend Nate. Hi, I'm Nate from Bakersfield, California, and this is my HON30 train set. I do have my own YouTube channel called Vintage Rails if you are interested. This is HON30, HO scale with N gauge track, but it's scaled for HO. This is three foot by one and a half foot set. This is fairly well detailed and the most complete of the three small train sets that I do have. Another is HO and another is M scale. This is a project that my dad and I started in 2019 and it is fairly complete right now. It even lights up too. There's some small details to see there as well. So there's a farm, some small buildings, just general small town America and it's a really nice piece. Ever seen one of those layouts that just blows you away? Our next layout comes to us from my friend Sam. In this scene, Sam replicates an excursion service going by the infamous Cherry Hill Station. Check this out. Coming up onto the left side of our train is none other than the infamous Cherry Hill Station. The next video made me want to get up and dance. The final video we're going to look at tonight comes to us from our friends at XCool 101 Productions, and it is the crescendo.
I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these layouts as much as I did. The best thing about this hobby is sharing it with other people. So thank you all for sending me your clips, and I look forward to doing this again very soon. As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RBP Trains. We'll see you next time.